morning vlog. Good morning vlog. Look who I have with me, Greta. It's me. It was funny because we both posted our like videos last week and got comments like, oh, didn't see Greta in this week's video. <laughs> That's true. I think they said thankfully for once they're not together. I'm like, I don't want to be apart. Dang it. Sorry, we're together. Greta is just here for the day. So we're actually about to go skating with Rachel, like roller skating. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't done that in a while. Rachel thinks I'm bad for some reason because I'm tall. Well, so justice for a tall girl on rollerblades. True. Josh did say, he was like, because I'm taller, it's just there's so far to fall. I mean, there <laughs> is, but how are you gonna fall unless there's a massive crack? Yeah, actually we go over these little rumbly things and uh, they suck. But then you might see me looking we'll like see. a baby deer. I'll try to get some video and see if Greta falls or not. <laughs> I almost forgot to take these and this is such an important step of my morning routine is taking my multivitamins. The ones that I take are from Ritual and the reason that I love this company specifically is that they're so transparent with what is in their vitamins so easy to take and they taste almost like a little bit minty and they don't upset my stomach which is so key so the reason i take a multivitamin is that no matter how well you eat and how good your diet is it can be really difficult to get all of those key nutrients that your body needs not only getting the right nutrients but doing it every single day and consistently can be so difficult the peace of mind i get from taking two of these every day and they're so simple to take and i get all of that nutrients is so amazing it is basically like the backup plan of all of those things that you were eating and can fill in the gaps of things that you're missing. Before I was taking Ritual, which was about two years ago, I was taking a lot of different vitamins and not really knowing all of the ingredients that were in them. And I actually have learned that things that are at the store, sometimes they're lower price and they sacrifice in the quality and some of the things can even be expired in there. So the fact that you can get a full month supply of this for $33 a month and it's actually going to help you is so comforting to me. So if you are interested in checking them out, you can use the link in the description box and use the code NatalieZ30 for 30% off your first month. I highly recommend these. If you have been on the fence about trying that simple daily multivitamin, check these out, let me know what you think, and I think that you're going to love them. I put on this little Free People blue workout set and I'm gonna do braids in my hair, I think, because that will keep them back. We just got back from my family vacation in upstate New York, and it was literally so good for me. I think my screen time was like a half an hour every day. I didn't even know where my phone was. We played sports and activities. I caught up with everybody, and it honestly just revived me and made me feel so happy. Now I need to make sure that I have a little belt bag or something to put my phone in. Very suspicious. We're getting all ready to go, and I have this like little bag thing that I'm gonna wear as kind of a hiking backpack because we're going for intensity. You're very committed to me doing this. Mm. Yeah, what if you fall? You're chucking your hydro flask. I am, definitely. <laughs> Greta and I are gonna split one of the amino leans. We need a little bit of caffeine, but not a ton. This is my caffeine. These are so good. I think the Alex Earl is the top flavor. This is our little fit check. And I think Rachel's wearing pink, so we'll be Skittles. Powder just like how we like it. Yeah. <laughs> Painting me on pictures and they crop me in. But I will remain where the top begins. Loud and clear. And that is how I know that the time is near. Heck yeah. for a water break. A little sweaty and hot out I'm here. I'm so sweaty. Don't be a hog. That is crisp. Yeah. Rachel is the trainer. We'll go slow around the corner. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Tell us when you're leaving. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, ladies, show us your stuff. All right. I'll try. Oh, you can go a little faster. You guys, we're on the back of the bus right now. <laughs> Just skating with them. Just doing my thing. Well, we completed our skating. Good job. Good job and sweaty girls. <laughs> 
We're sweaty. We don't. We aren't quite sure how long that we went for, but we went for a while. You just. We went seven miles. Yeah, we yeah. went seven miles. Thanks, Greta, for coming on down. And the vlog will now have to continue without you. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys in maybe next week's vlog. So Josh got back from Ikea. He's been building some furniture. So first up is the dresser. And as you guys have probably seen in all the videos, way too much clothes and we only have like three small drawers. So we got the Ikea Malm, M-A-L-M dresser. It's honestly like their most standard one, but it has good deep drawers. So I'm very excited about that. And we're working on it now. Josh has been at this for a while. Tonight was such a good night. We watched The Summer I Turned Pretty, which I had watched the first episode, but they have the next two. And it's just so much fun. I am definitely somebody who, when I watch something, I like to talk through it, especially like popular TV shows. So literally the whole time we were just like commentating on everything and that is my favorite. I'll have to show you updated of the dresser because it looks so good and I'm just excited to get our master bedroom like going and looking really nice. get ready because I have a wax appointment and I have to leave really soon. I need to pack a little computer bag because I'm so behind on my like emails and computer stuff and I have to go over the bridge into Tampa for my appointment so I like to go sit at a coffee shop and like get a bunch of stuff done. I really love mornings and I love being productive in the morning. I feel like that's when I get like the most work done and I find myself really missing when I was going to do workout classes in the morning so I kind of want to inspire myself to get back into that but we've just had so much family stuff going on. I feel like we've been out of town a lot for stuff and it hasn't necessarily been work it's been a lot of like family things which is really good that we're able to be there for it but it has made me feel like so out of my like typical schedule and it was just weird Josh and I were talking and we were saying how strange is it that we have now been in our house since March and it is July and I feel like kind of that it's been a long time but also we've had so much that we've had to do I think that end of July and August are going to be a lot of like focusing on that stuff so that we can feel so comfortable but yeah that's what I'm thinking about this morning back into the routine and back into doing house stuff <laughs> And honestly, I feel really overwhelmed. I don't know. I feel like my brain is just splat. But I just got in some packages and I finally got Josh my favorite backpack. The one that I always use from CalPack and I wanted him to have one. So I'm about to give it to him. I also got their Luca duffel for me, which is the perfect like weekend little duffel bag. It looks so cute. And a new computer bag, which I've had a computer bag that I got from Marshalls and I used it all in college. And it was just like bad quality, like fake leather, not good, ripping apart. So I'm very excited about this one. That's so cute. I wish I had it today when I was going to the coffee shop. I'm a businesswoman with this. I'm here. I got you this. Am I part of the cool kids club? Now yeah, you're part of the cool kids club. Wait, open it up. I feel like as a neutral boy, black is gonna do just fine. It looks smaller on you than it does on me. Like this backpack takes me over. It's like a normal size on you. I am currently whipping up a little bit of lunch. I have like asparagus and tomatoes in here and then I put on rice and chicken. I feel like especially when we go out of town, I really try to get rid of all the groceries that are in my fridge. So right now it's just kind of a simple thing, but it got a little bit late and 
we haven't eaten, so I'm very hungry now. And it smells really good, so that's good. I wanted to do a little bit of a tidy in my office, and I'm feeling really good. So I had a bikini bin that's down here. I kind of exchanged that out for all of my toiletries that I have, but I haven't used yet. So these are kind of like a restock or a refill. Then some new items, which this honestly just needs a lot of organization still. The goal is these curtains that are down in there are going to be like the closet doors here. So I have to get a curtain rod that will go underneath and then that will be cohesive. Because right now when you walk in, that's kind of the only thing that you can see and I'm not very inspired to keep decorating until we can figure that out. This is our new dresser, so it's very simple, but I honestly love it here. The drawers are nice and big. I just feel like it fits. This has all of my shorts and skirts in it and it's so nice. For this here, I still have to get it a little bit more organized, but I did all of my swimsuits, so I have a blue drawer. This one is purple and green then my like orangey yellow and pink so it's nice to have them all in separate things i don't know if this is the final storage that i'll do but it's better than just having a big chaotic bin where i couldn't even like figure out or reach for anything so i feel like that is a good first step but honestly organization takes so long and i am exhausted <laughs> i'm feeling inspired to start on the decorating because we have been married for two and a half years and we've never bought a bed frame so we're finally going to be buying like a bed getting to do a headboard or and a like, mattress yeah it's josh's mattress from moving back home after college so i'm just excited to do that then i want to get curtains in here artwork for above our bed our closet doors have to be figured out and I'm just trying not to get discouraged by how many things and living in a house because we are so thankful for our house and the ability to like make it our own and do fun stuff, but that is not without it feeling extremely overwhelming. I think it's time for a quick room tidy up. I wasn't gonna go to sunset, but I decided I wanted to and I just got this new suit from Lenny Swim. It's so cute. I feel like a lot of what I've been wearing is green and pink recently, so I must just be drawn to that right now. Josh decided not to come with because he's finishing up with working on some stuff. I'm wearing this cover up from Grey Bandit that I actually really love. I just got this in the mail. And per usual, I'm running late, so my ETA is 8.12, and I'm pretty sure the sun sets at 8.25. So that means I have to park and literally run onto the beach. And that's kind of sad because I've been really loving getting there early and having some time where it's like golden-y and relaxing a little bit more because the issue is that when I swim at sunset, it gets dark quickly and then I don't wanna be like in the darkness, you know, on the beach or in the water or something. So once it gets kind of past that dusk part, I'm like, I gotta go. So without further ado, let's rush to the beach. It already looks so gorgeous. It's kind of just a clear sky, but I think it's gonna be so beautiful. And in the water we go. I'm sorry for this opinion, but I do not need refreshing water. I want my water to feel like a hot tub, and this one does. Look how pretty the clouds are this way. Oh my gosh. And then that is where the sun went down. I was expecting those little clouds to go pink, and they didn't, but that is okay. Look at those. I love how yellow the sunsets have been lately. I was going to stay, but Josh and I have been loving night swimming at our pool, so I kind of want to get back and see if he wants to. 10 out of 10 night. I feel like when no one can go with me to stuff, sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I just won't do anything. But doing stuff by yourself is something that I didn't start doing, I feel like, until later in life, and it honestly is so good. I feel like when I do things by myself, it makes me have more of that like an independent feeling of just... I love my own company and I love being with my own thoughts and I think it's just a really healthy thing. So I'm glad that I pushed myself to go tonight even though Josh had to work and it is always worth it. Sidebar, I do wish that I could bring my bike and park my car somewhere and like bike to the beach. How freaking cool would that be? I am back and now I'm gonna go hop in the shower and get all cozy and it's time for Josh and I to watch Survivor. Make cookies? Josh just said we're gonna make cookies, so that sounds amazing. This week's vlog was so much fun, so much cozy time, a little bit of my emotions, and I don't know, you just got to join in on my life, and I love that, so I will see you guys for next week's video. Ooh.